Hi everybody! In this lesson we're going to take a closer look at working with audio in the ProShow web app. Let's jump right in and add some music to a show. Down here at the bottom of the Edit Show screen, tap the Add button, then choose Music. You can select music from your iDevice, or choose from the hundreds of tracks in the built-in, royalty-free music library. In the music library, you can scroll through the list alphabetically, or tap this text indicator down here at the bottom. This allows you to browse for music by type, tempo, category, genre, or length. To preview a song, tap the play button down here. When you find the song that's right for your show, tap add. You can add several tracks to a show if you'd like. Or if you want to remove a track, tap this trash can icon at the bottom, tap the song you wish to remove, then tap Done Removing when you're finished. Up here next to the music label, the app will show you how many tracks you have and the total length of all the music you've added to your show. Now let's tap this gear icon at the bottom of the screen and take a look at some music options. Here in the advanced settings area, you'll find two music options, crossfade music and auto sync. When you have multiple songs in your shows, the crossfade music option will automatically blend your tracks together. The first song will gradually fade out, while the next song gradually fades in at the same time. By default, this option is turned on, but if you'd like, you can disable this feature by tapping here. Next we have the Auto Sync option. Now this is a very important feature, as it helps you control the tempo of your show. By default, this option is turned on, which tells the app to build your show to be the same length as your show soundtrack. As you can see in this show, I only have 12 images and around 4 minutes of audio. Now because I don't have that much content, when the show is built, the effects and overall pacing of the show may be a little too slow. To change the pace of this show, let's tap here to turn the auto sync option off. Then use this slider to slow down or speed up the show. Now when making a manual adjustment, there are two very important things to keep in mind. First, when the show is rebuilt, depending on which direction the slider is moved, the app may use different effects from the selected theme. Now this happens because the app knows that some effects work better than others at certain speeds. Also, as we speed up the show, we may run out of content before we run out of music. If that happens, the soundtrack will no longer play in its entirety. Instead, the app will simply apply a fade out to the soundtrack when it reaches the end of the show. For this example, let's move the slider all the way to the right to make it as fast as possible. Now let's fast forward a little bit to see what happens when we build this show. When we watch the show, we can see that the show length is now only 16 seconds. In most cases, you probably won't want your shows to be this short. So, back on the settings screen, simply tap here to turn the auto sync feature back on. Now, let's tap the back button up here at the top. Back on the edit show screen, we now see this notice that the app will try to sync the show with the audio the next time we build the show. When you manually set the pacing for your show, you may also see this Sync Show button appear on the Edit Show screen. This is just another way to resync your show to your show soundtrack. By tapping this button, the app will undo your manual pacing adjustments and turn the Auto Sync option back on for the next time you build your show. Thanks for watching! Be sure to visit our blog and check out our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.